Thank you to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor has been a lifesaver for me. It's a delivery meal kit that literally offers fresh, never frozen meals at your doorstep. They're actually also owned by HelloFresh, which I've done a partnership with beforehand. And I love the fact that I get to switch between the two brands, which gives me an even wider variety of meals. With Factor, there's literally no stress, no planning, no guesswork in what I'm going to eat or snack on. Literally everything comes together in a matter of minutes and it's actually a lot faster than takeout. I get so hungry nowadays that waiting even 30 to 45 minutes would literally drive me off the deep end. Literally now with Factor, I just plop a meal in the microwave or in the oven, heat it up for a couple of minutes, and literally me and my fetus are good to go. And like I said before, with the wide variety of meal plans that Factor has, it takes the guesswork out of wondering like, what am I gonna have for lunch? What am I gonna have for dinner? What am I gonna have for breakfast? What am I gonna have for my third snack of the day? You know? In today's world with so many diet plans, Factor actually offers fresh and premium ingredients with every meal that you get. As you all know, um, life right now is pretty hectic with being over nine months pregnant, YouTube being my full-time job, and me trying to find some form of self-care. There isn't enough time for me to set aside time to actually plan healthy meals that I can make really quickly. If anything, it causes more stress, and then I get stressed about not being able to eat, or if I eat, it's not exactly the healthiest thing. But with Factor, they have so many nutritious options to keep my fridge stocked up with like smoothies and juices, which are perfect perfect for easy snacking. They also offer options that make it super easy to stick to my health goals. Factor is also my go-to lunch or dinner solution when I'm working from home and I just don't have enough time to prepare healthy, well thought out meals. Head to go.factor75.com slash justslim120 and use code justslim120 to get $120 off. That's go.factor75.com slash justslim120 120 and use code justslim120 to get $120 off. Thank you so much to Factor for making my life that much easier and for sponsoring today's video. Hello you guys, good morning. I'm kind of excited for today. One, it's the baby daddy's birthday. He's getting older, I'm getting younger. All is right in the world. We are on our way on a little shopping spree for the little one. Um, she's almost here. June 10th is her due date, but with the way that she's kicking, I think she's gonna be here more towards the end of May versus early June, but I don't know, whatever. I have a list of things that I've written out so we don't stray from the plan. Like I have a plan, and a plan of attack. Things are coming together and I can finally slightly unclench my butthole from all this worrying that I've been doing. Meanwhile, the baby daddy is just chilling. He's not worried about anything. He's like, bring that fetus out. Do I feel slightly defeated right now? Kind of, because Target didn't really find what I wanted and needed. Same thing with Bye Bye Baby. We just picked up the Bobby pillow and things are a little too expensive in there. Like I saw pajamas for $44. For a creature that is literally the length of my arm, if that. Um, it's crazy. And then home goods didn't find exactly what we needed, 
but we got like this like hamper situation. I am a very particular person. When I have this image of something that I want, I have to have it, which is not always the greatest thing. And I just have this image in my mind of what I want her wardrobe to look like, just like even the aesthetic, the vibes, you know? And I just didn't find that. This makes me realize I'm gonna be doing a lot of online shopping. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is hours later. I took a long ass, bomb ass nap that wiped off some of my eyebrows. On today's edition of this is one of the very few outfits that fit me, I have worn the sweatshirt 300,000 times, way too many times, but it's so comfortable, so oversized. Like I need to buy like three to four sweatshirts that are of this quality, this size that'll last me. Um, also, I feel like I'm giving Princess Diana, but like make it wish, you know, with this outfit, as in, bitch you wish you'd look like Princess Diana. Let's excuse how frayed my edges are. I just have no desire to get myself together today. Um, this is all you get and you're welcome. This morning, I ordered some clothes for her and I think I'm gonna be returning some of the clothes that I actually got before. Like, I didn't realize when people say like newborn sizes, it's babies up to eight pounds. And I did not realize the tea is that babies are born like more than eight pounds, and obviously, like, weight and all this stuff ranges. So I just decided to return a bunch of newborn stuff and I'm gonna focus more on zero to three months. But even then I just bought a few items. I didn't buy like a bunch of stuff. Does this angle make my pregnancy face look less pregnant? Because low key kind of does. But I think right now I am going to organize a bunch of her baby stuff. We have her crib over here. Finally set up don't mind the mess and everything but like look at her crib. It's so like ugh, it's like white. It's aesthetic. It's like Modern, you know, this is the dresser that Dan and I got from Ikea He built this and then we took the old dresser took it upstairs and that's gonna be her dresser upstairs But in the meantime we have this and in, in due time this will be her dresser. I don't know am I making sense? Am I making sense? But we needed more space until we get our own personalized closet system. Don't mind this mess. It's going to get cleared out. So cue the organizing and cleaning montage.
you know what this is? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Stay. We are out of the first charging station. So this is the current situation of the organization that I did. I don't know if that makes sense. So I completely reorganized, rearranged everything, took some stuff out that wasn't necessary. This area over here is going to end up going and I have tissue paper by my bed because I get constant nosebleeds from the dry air in the middle of the night. This is where her diaper changing situation is going to be. I really, I really like this because it's one, very neutral and aesthetic, and it's the vibes. But also, it's like you can pick it up, take it anywhere around the house you need it to be. But for now, we're just going to leave it right there. Here is her crib situation. I organized this diaper caddy to the best of my ability for right now. But her room is on a different floor. And we want to be able to keep things in our room for now because she's going to be sleeping with us for the first couple of months and then whenever we're comfortable we'll take her to her room. I have like stuff for her diapers, washcloths, and then I have like her bad situation pacifier and then booby stuff and like first aid kit for baby. Nur, I feel like this angle kind of makes me look like slimmer. I just feel like I had a thought and then I lost it. Also, ignore the construction noises outside. I think my neighbors, they're doing renovations and I'm just like, girl, can y'all do this at another time? She's trying to be a YouTuber. Um, I feel like I'm still in the same mood, same thought, same frame of mind that I was in my last video. Um, I'm just, am I nervous? Am I panicking? Am I anxious? Yes, yes. And book yes i am i think it's because now i am due at any time do i have my hospital bag ready no but i'm really hoping and praying that she shows up on african people die you know i just need a slight delay just a slight delay please now i've my lightning crotch is like i can feel it kind of lower if that makes any sense and it's like there's cramping and it's kind of like period cramps but not as like intense and it's just like I know it's because she's moving around and I know it's because my uterus is growing um it's just a lot going on and between working on YouTube and trying to get everything ready for the baby girl and just mentally preparing myself for motherhood has been has been a lot honestly Dan has been super supportive he's been working hard like He's been building all these things and just being super supportive, which like obviously he should be because I'm the one that's doing all the heavy lifting, okay? But like he's the calmer of us two, like he's calm. And I think I definitely need that kind of balance because I'm over here like, oh my god, oh my god. Like I'm just like, I'm over here like freaking out and he's over here like, you know, she comes, she comes, it's all good. Then she has everything she needs and i feel like every time i imitate him i sound like count dracula